What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021 because the last video I did about this one was a 2020 version and you guys really seemed to love that video. It got over 100,000 views. So I thought like, wow, you guys are really into different softwares and for example, Vegas Pro or Filmora. So right now we're gonna get started with the Movavi Video Editor Plus. So if you guys are watching for the very first time, make sure to hit the like button down below also subscribe and I would say let's get started with Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020 right after the intro. Alright guys, so as you can see right now, this is of course the interface that we will land on when you open up the software. So of course this is not really that different as the previous version I showed you guys last year. I think it was around October as well in 2019 where I showed you the 2020 version. So these are always like one version uh, up front and that's really really cool because they have like a lot of you know different updates and features. Just so much more to explore you know. So of course the interface is kind of the same as last year just because we have our preview on the right where we can preview what we are doing and the, you know a video and a cutting and the transitions and all that and right here in the middle we have or add files tab so that's basically the top one from this menu we'll get into in just a second all right so the first thing is record video so right here you can actually record your video into your timeline so if you have for example a webcam connected or a actual DSLR camera for example connected to an Elgato straight into your HDMI port you can just use that one as a capture device and how you can record video so next to that is capture screencast meaning that you can you know just do a screen capture like you guys are seeing right now like that i use obs for you can also record audio just straight up mp3 or a wave or whatever format you like we have the quick video which basically says make your video in a few steps which i'll get to in just a second so at the very top we have a couple more menus so on the top one it says file import like i just showed you guys how to add in your files from your camera into the project and below that we have the media bin where it basically will show you guys all the files that you have imported so far in your project. That's really, really cool. Below that, we have sounds. So right here, we have all kinds of sound effects that you can just drag into your timeline, real simple like that. And then below that, we have music as well. So you can choose, for example, like action movie music, awakening, bittersweet, bold and young, bright future, country, Christmas, cartoons, carefree days, all kinds of vibes, all kinds of moods are in there. So it really fits your video or your movie or your montage or whatever. We have sample video, basically means that you have like overlays already in there. So once again, in Vegas Pro, I would have to go to YouTube, for example, type in this camera overlay that you can just really simply drag into your timeline or just, you know, click on so you can see that in your preview. That's all in there. We have flames. We have like falling money in slow motion. The options are endless, guys. I'm not going to sit here, read out all the things because this video would be an hour long. We also have backgrounds. So you would also have to go to, you know, Google images if you want to get that one in different softwares. So right here, we also have effects packages. Now you have to buy these ones separately because it's not just like drag and drop to get them into your timeline. So it's just actually a great investment if you want to save time like doing every single asset one by one so that's it for this entire menu actually if you go below that one this is basically the menu that will show you guys when you use this for the first time so i didn't open up this software i didn't use it until i recorded this very video because i wanted to include all these little things that they literally guide you through all of this so right here it says to apply a filter drag it onto a clip so of course i don't have a clip in yet so i'm just going to drag in a clip right now all right so of course if you want to apply filters and all that you can just drag them onto your clip. So I just inserted a clip from the documentary where I'm just sitting in a different environment just to get, you know, like to write differently and, you know, be somewhere else inside and in, like instead of the studio all the time. So if I, for example, drag on the oil painting, if I put that one like that, you can literally see it change into your timeline. And if you want to undo changes, you can just press control Z and then it's just going to undo it. So instead of like, you know, trying to figure out how to remove it, just press control Z and it counts for everything. Uh, that's a really cool shortcut. Like if you made a mistake, for example, just press control Z and then it will go back one step. All right. So the next one is, for example, this halftone color. If I drag it on there, as you can see, it looks really, really cool. But this is just one of the so many different filters. What's also new in this version is that in previous ones, you always had, you know, this issue where clips would stick together no matter where you drag them into your timeline. So on the very left of the track where it says enable gaps on this arrow icon, if you click on there, right now you will be able to drag this everywhere around where it will be black in between or some 
or some sort of text or any other video that you like. So right here, I have a very high res picture of myself that we recently shot. So let's say that I want to crop this image into a little bit more of a closer resolution. Right here, it says crop. Now, of course, the cool thing is that you don't lose any quality whatsoever. So if you click on that icon, I'm going to put this one a little bit smaller. I'm going to put this one also nice and centered. Now, if I click on apply right here, as you can see, our preview is now nicely and adjusted. That's how you can crop it real, real simple. Another feature that they included is having transitions onto the actual overlay track. So right here, we have a button which says transition wizard. And right here, you can apply any kind of transitions that you want, for example, artistic. If you want to insert only the transition to the overlay track right here, you want to click on this arrow where it says apply to selected because right here, only this one is highlighted yellow and selected. Now on the overlay track, if you want to select both of them, we can just go to the transition wizard. We can, for example, pick the brush smooth, and then we can also click on the apply to selected, which creates this transition right here. On the overlay track, we have a nice brush fade out to the next one which looks really, really cool. And that's how you can also apply transitions onto the overlay tracks. We have vignettes as well to add in these dark edges around it to really, really make it look cinematic. And that's it for the actual filters. So let's move on to the transitions. All right, guys. So now that we landed on the transitions tab, right here, we have all kinds of, we have the parallax, artistic, the fade, the blur. So how this essentially works is if I go ahead and drag on another clip into this timeline. All right, so let's say that we're going to pick this brush rough one. We're gonna put these two clips clips against each other and then we're going to drag this guy on in the middle so it's actually going to apply that so if you zoom into our timeline by holding a uh, control and using our mouse wheel to scroll up and down to zoom in and out right here you can also choose the duration so right here if you want to have a really long transition you can just you know drag it that way so if i go ahead and play this back this is what it looks like as you can see it looks really really slow because that's what I, why i made it really really stretchy but that is what it looks like and it, you know it seems like it's a little bit stuttery but that that's because i have or we actually shot this one in i think 4k or something so that's why it needs some time to buffer but but you guys get the point you can just drag on your transitions real simple like that you can have circular ones blocks geometric ripple which looks really really cool if i drag on this waves one let's see what that looks like if i make this one a little bit shorter as well in length like that a little bit quicker so as you can see, that looks kind of like a water drip or some water, you know, transition. Looks really, really nice. It's really, really advanced. And this is what I also used right before my intro kicks in. If you guys notice that real quickly, if I drag that on, this is what that looks like. That's what I use in my intro real, real quick. So that's a really, really cool ripple smooth transition. We have warp, wipe, and zoom. All right, guys. And what's really, really cool is that they have the LUT filters also included. So if you go to this tab right here, you, of course, have all your filters and your LUT filters. For example, this one, you have a lot of LUT filters to choose from, from very different categories to make your videos look like it's your favorite, you know, movie or like really cinematic footage, whether it's, for example, like this montage or this vlog. You can also go ahead and apply more and more transitions onto additional videos video tracks. You can drag videos onto the main video track so that they don't stick to each other. So for this one, I have my actual intro of this actual video into my timeline to show you guys what you can also do with that. Because right here, we also have external audio, as you can see from my intro, because I always use this Shure SM7B microphone. And that is this audio track, because this audio is from my camera that is just really, really far away. It has a lot of echo. It doesn't have any effects on it. It doesn't sound good. So that's a really cool thing that if I, for example, drag this guy to the left, or to the right, you can actually synchronize this using a very, very handy tool. So if you go to the left and you click on the bottom icon, which has more tools, if you go to the audio editing tab, right here, it says synchronization. So right here, my audio is really, really far off. Click on it. You basically want to hold left control and then you want to click on the audio of your microphone and then your audio of your camera. And then you, right here, you want to click on synchronize. And as you can see right now, it's going to line them up exactly how it is supposed to be. And now I can actually delete this audio. Or let's say I'm going to mute it. So if I play it back, this is what it looks like and what it sounds like with like my uh, audio from my studio mic. What is poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys. That's really how simple it is, how you can synchronize audio. It's nice and equally synchronized because if you look at the audio waves, they all just match up perfectly. And more about the effect packages, guys. Right here, if you can see, we have no installed ones, but the available ones are a lot of them. We have like intros, outros, blockbuster pack. My favorite is if we go to the website for example if we double click on it it will bring us to the website this is the page where you will 
land on and right here you have effect sets meaning that you have like horror story set abstract shape set but right here we have effect packs as well meaning that you have system packs a moscow pack new york style pack wedding day pack so my all-time favorite is of course intro because i'm always looking on the visual side of things this is my favorite the sci-fi intro pack because if you play it back this is what it looks like it's really really cool it's a high-end quality which is also available through the link in down in the description now let's move on to the actual thing you can do in your timeline because right here this is just too self-explanatory because this is right here it says titles so you can just drag on text you know customize it and below that you have your stickers and emojis and all that and your overlays that you want to include there's nothing really really that complicated to you know to show you guys so the first thing that you want to do is if you want to cut in your timeline in vegas pro you would have to you know press s but right here if you right click you can see what you need to press as a shortcut in order to split so right here if we right click on our clip we can see that split is control b so right here if we do that as well right here that's going to separate our clip so now we can move this guy freely around as you can see if we right click as you can see we can add in a marker which is you know being control m if you want to go ahead and delete a scene you can just press the delete key that's pretty pretty straightforward uh, just like other softwares if you want to play and pause it just press your space bar if you want to preview what you've done if you right click on it if you want to press copy and you know paste that's control c control v nothing really too different from other softwares but the other one is actually pretty different which is the cutting which is control x so that's basically your menu and if you want to for example make a quick cut of course if you have for example like this urge to save things in vegas pro that's control s so if you move your finger just a little bit to the right in my case it's to the right depending on if you have a qwerty or a zerdy but if you press ctrl b that's basically how you can split things real really easy and that's just how you can swap them up and for example delete it and that's how you make jump cuts as well you can just go ahead and you know choose the time where you for example say nothing cut that part away and that's how you can create jump cuts and you know edit your videos there's so much more to it guys if you guys want to check out this software the link is down in the description i want to thank movavi once again for this really really cool partnership over the years with providing me this brand new software again and again for you guys to explore see what's new and just try something else in vegas pro can get used to it if you don't want to get used to it there are tons of other softwares and i think movavi is actually my favorite one besides vegas when it comes to video editing just because there's so much stuff already provided sound effects music overlays you know text animations a lot of softwares they don't have that and you have to make that one from scratch so this is not really user friendly but also really really time efficient that's basically this walkthrough guys i'm gonna let you guys explore the rest by clicking the link down in the description thanks a lot to movavi and this is basically how to use movavi video editor plus 2021 all right guys so that's it for this video this is basically how to use movavi video editor plus and all its features the 2021 version so if you would like to get this software you want to learn more try the new version of movavi video editor plus 2021 with a seven day free trial or get your version with 20 percent off using the code movavi 2021 i want to thank movavi for sponsoring this video always being so kind with hooking me up with brand new softwares for you guys to check out for you guys to explore and you know improve your editing so that's it for this video guys and i'll see you guys obviously in the next one